Well, a lot of people at least dreaming of a white Christmas this time of the year. Unfortunately, probably not in the cards for the Chicago area, it looks like. Uh, that romantic notion that you're going to have snow falling on Christmas Day to really make it feel like the holiday. And of course, they wrote a song about it. Bing Crosby sang it back in 1942, which won an Academy Award. And Guinness Book of World Set Record says it's not only the most popular Christmas song, that uh, White Christmas, it's also the most popular song ever, selling more than 50 million copies. So a lot of people definitely thinking, dreaming about it. Right now, not looking very good. As a matter of fact, it's almost certain that we will not have a white Christmas. But here's some stats in terms of white Christmases around here. 25 to 50 percent chance probability, historically speaking, across northern Illinois, I'll break that down, of a white Christmas in any given year. This year, though, the chances are really small. Last white Christmas occurred last year in 2022. Went back through the record books, looked back at the last 71 years. 29 of the past 71 years had a white Christmas. What's a white Christmas? You need an inch of snow on the ground or more by 7 o'clock Christmas morning, according to the National Weather Service. Interesting to note that about 16% of the country right now has an inch of snow on the ground or more. It's about, actually, the average snow cover is about an inch. 16% of the country has uh, coverage of snow. But last year at this time, it was almost three times that much. We had 45% of the country had an average of four inches of snow on the ground. So this year, a lot less snow across the whole country. And we'll look at country, uh, the country and see which parts of the country are more favored for snowfall, which aren't. Of course, you'd expect the Rockies and the Pacific Northwest to higher elevations. Almost 100% probability in any given year for a white Christmas. You see that brighter shade of purple. And that same color is seen across northern Minnesota, parts of North Dakota, uh, the UP and northern Wisconsin. Historically speaking, at least, those two areas have a very good chance of a white Christmas. I don't think it's going to happen, though, this year. And then you can see in Illinois there, from central Illinois through the Chicago area, that lighter shade of almost greenish blue. That's about a 25 to 40% chance. And it goes up as you head further north and west of the city. So about 25% chance are southern suburbs. In the city, about 35 to 40 are far northwest suburbs. You're looking at about a 40 to 50% chance probability of a white Christmas. So I looked at the GFS model and ran it all the way out through Christmas night to see, or actually Christmas morning, to see how much snowfall could be coming. This is just one model, of course. This isn't set in stone, but just to get an idea of what could be coming. And it looks like the areas that are already covered in snow, and there are a lot of the Rockies have snow in the higher elevations this year, and about a mountain range getting some snow today too. But right now it looks like the additional snowfall that could be coming between now and then centered in the uh, Four Corners region and up through parts of the Northern Plains, maybe the northwest corner of Minnesota, but certainly much of South Dakota, running all the way down through parts of Colorado into Arizona and New Mexico, the higher elevations definitely look like they could have a white Christmas this year, according to that model. Now, of course, Conditions have not been favorable so far this month. If December were to end today, it would tie as the seventh warmest December on record with 1881. And we've got a relatively warm pattern that could continue all the way into the start of next year. Now, there could be a couple of colder days mixed in. This 10-day forecast shows you that for next Thursday and Friday. But look at the next couple of days. Mid-40s for highs today through Friday. 50 or above Saturday, Christmas Eve, and Christmas Day. 53 degrees and rain don't go together, unfortunately, for Christmas Day. And 50s on uh, Christmas Eve, too, is not going to help as well. So I wanted to take a longer range look. Any hopes for snowfall coming maybe after Christmas? Well, the 6 to 10 day forecast from the Climate Prediction Center is saying that we are likely going to be above average. We have the highest probabilities. You see that darker shade of brown across the upper Midwest and the Great Lakes. So we are favored to be above average overall. There could be a couple of colder days mixed in, but overall. And then the end of this year and the start of 2024, again, we are favored to be above average. The probabilities drop a little bit, but still looks like a relatively warm pattern. Could lead us all the way into the start of 2024. Here's your seven day forecast to put things in perspective. Today, partly to mostly sunny 43. A little bit of light rain possible late tomorrow, but more clouds 44. Better chance of rain on Friday. That's plain old rain. And then it looks like uh, Christmas Eve, especially towards Christmas Eve night, 53 for the high, maybe a little bit of light rain. Showers look likely for us on Christmas Day with a high of 53 degrees. I'm meteorologist Tim McGill.